back to my channel guys. Today I'm going to be doing a mail haul because I have not done one in a really long time and I have missed it and any of you who have been watching my vlogs have seen just the pile of boxes like behind me in my car because I was going to my PO box, I was getting stuff and I was keeping it because I knew I wanted to do a mail haul but I didn't have time so now that I'm officially on winter break I can film a mail haul for you guys. And I even have some like extra special things that I'm going to be opening with you all so I really hope you will sit down in your pajamas, grab a cup of coffee, relax and just enjoy this video. I'm gonna start by opening up this box, which is super special. So you guys know that I have my like squad. We're a group of five girls that met basically through social media, like we're all teacher bloggers. And we actually met for the first time all together in Nebraska in November. And if you don't know who my squad is, it is Meg from Meg's Crayons, Christina from Teach Like a Girl, Erin from Making a Statement in Sped, and Lindsay from Miss Johnson's Journey. So when we all met in Nebraska, we actually put together a giveaway and we called it squads giving because it was around Thanksgiving so we wanted to do something for Christmas and we decided to do squadsmas hashtag squadsmas and basically we did a secret Santa between the five of us we used the website Elfster which if you have never used that it's amazing for secret Santas especially if you're doing secret Santa with people that do not live near you so we all got assigned a different member of the squad and we sent them a secret Santa package I actually got Meg from Meg's Crayons which I was super excited about because I'd seen so many things that I knew that she would love so if you want to see what I got her. She actually opened it in a vlog and I will link that for you guys down in the description box. So my gift came before Christmas and I have waited because I knew I wanted to do a mail haul and I haven't opened it. So I'm super, super excited. I think everyone else from the squad has opened theirs and I'm like the only one who hasn't opened it. So I'm going to go ahead and open this up and let you guys know who my secret Santa was, which another funny story with this. Um, if you saw my YouTube secret Santa video, you know that my secret Santa package got left out in the rain. Ironically, so did this one. So something with secret Santa and the weather, they're just not coordinating well together. And this is taped really, really well. And because there is so much tape, I don't think the rain damaged it. At least it doesn't seem like it did. <laughs> Man, I was doing so well. Okay. All right. Ooh, I see gold. They know me very well. So this is what it looks like on the inside. There is white and gold tissue paper. Super festive. Oh, Okay, so there's all like gold and white, oops. Hopefully that's not breakable. There is all like gold and white wrapped gifts in here. I love that they took the time to like wrap everything. Okay, and then here is a letter and it says open last. So I'm gonna put that to the side. I'm so excited, you guys. <laughs> all right, I think I'm gonna go like smallest to biggest. I feel like that's always how I open gifts. So I'm gonna start with this because it's small and it makes noise. Oh, okay. I don't know what this is, but I'm excited. This is really nice wrapping paper, by the way. <laughs> Kudos to you. Oh, these are beautiful. Oh my goodness, you guys. Look at these earrings. Obsessed with them already. You guys are going to see me wear these like a million times in my upcoming vlogs. I love it. It has like the hammered metal, which I love that look. And they're gold and I love the two layers. Yay, thank you. It's weird opening up stuff and not knowing who it's from. Like I'm saying thank you, but I don't know who I'm even saying thank you to. All right, I think I'm going to open this one next. <gasps> I see sloths. <laughs> These are so adorable. So they're like magnetic bookmarks, which I absolutely love because they don't really damage like the pages of your book. And they have sloths. Ah, oh, they're so cute. <laughs> this is actually perfect because Billy and I's anniversary was yesterday and we said we weren't getting each other anything and he lied because he got me a card and then he got me a book, the new book by John Green, Turtles All the Way Down. So I'm super excited to read it and I will get to use these while I read it. Yay, thank you. Okay, this person has done so well already. I'm so excited. And there's more. Okay, I'm gonna do this box next. I say it's box, I don't know if it's a box. <laughs> oh, it is a box. I was right. Okay, it says, have a narwhali Christmas. Super cute. Okay, let's see what's on the inside. Ooh, ooh, Dunkin' Donuts gift card. It's an e-gift card. So I'm not gonna unfold it all the way so you guys don't see it, but super cute. Yay. Love me some Dunkin' Donuts, you guys know. Exciting, exciting. Okay, this person has done such a great job. I'm so proud of them. <laughs> I'm gonna open this one next. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this is the most perfect thing I've ever seen. All right, are you guys ready? Prepare yourselves. So they are cards and it says, sorry, it took so long and it has a sloth on it. <laughs> 
This is very ironic because currently I'm sitting in my studio and I'm looking at all of the things that I need to write, like notes back to people that they've sent it to me and I've, I haven't written people back. I feel so bad, but like it just is very time consuming because I don't want to write like a simple note. I don't want to type it up and print it out. Like I want to hand write all of the notes, but it takes a super long time and I've been putting it off and putting it off. And that's one of my goals over winter break is to get that done. So these will be literally perfect for that. I'm going to do this. Oop, there we go. I'm going to do this one next. This is what I love about having a squad. Like you know each other really, really well. Oh, oh, okay, okay. I know what this is. Um, <laughs> this is literally so perfect. I'm gonna have a story for you guys, but this is a game. I'm not gonna read it. You guys can read for yourself. But ironically, so this is from the makers of another game. Um, I'll call it Smart Alec. <laughs> And I actually played that game with Billy and his aunt and his uncle and some of his cousins. We had played, I think we were in like Nashville at the time or something, and I was really good at it. Like I won and I was super proud of myself and I'm really competitive, so it's a good thing that I won. So this is perfect because Billy and I now can play at home. So this is, I guess, a different, it says where the wrong answer is always right. So I'll have to like look into this, but Billy and I for New Year's Eve, like we're not gonna go out and do anything. We're just gonna stay in like in our pajamas and play games. So this is perfect because we will get to play play this game. Yay! Alright, I think there's one more and it feels fabric-like. It's definitely like squishy, so I'm excited to see what this is. Okay, I think it's a shirt, maybe. It is a shirt. Oh, this is so cute. Okay, I think now I know who my <laughs> secret Santa is. So it's a shirt and it says happiness as being a teacher and it's black and gold. It's so beautiful. This is seriously like gorgeous. I don't know who it is because it, I think it's Lindsay. Like that's my first guess. But my second guess is Erin because I know Erin also has a Cricut and makes t-shirts. But Lindsay has her own business selling t-shirts. So I think that's who I got. But I'm going to open up my card now and see. Why am I nervous? <laughs> Something about Secret Santa always makes me feel really nervous. Ooh, it's just a plain gold card. Me likey. It is Lindsay, I was right, okay. <laughs> it says, Merry Squadsmas, dearest Michelle, I hope you enjoy your Squadsmas gifts. I'm so lucky to call an amazing woman a friend. Miss you and can't wait for our next squad venture. <laughs> Love, Lindsay. Super, super cute. Thank you, Lindsay. You seriously like nailed it. I'm gonna text you as soon as I'm done filming this because everything is so on point and it's just, perfect and I love like the t-shirt is beautiful and especially knowing like she made it herself like seriously oh it's sideways there we go she made it herself and it's seriously gorgeous I will link her El Paul Designs for All that's the name of her like t-shirt making business I will link it for you guys down in the description box because she has amazing t-shirts and I definitely recommend you check them out okay pardon me while I dig through because there's a certain package I have to find Ugh. okay this one right here I'm super excited about this is from Love Your Melon so if you are not familiar with Love Your Melon, they do amazing, amazing things for kids with cancer. They make these beanies that are absolutely gorgeous, by the way, and they donate 50% of their profits to kids fighting pediatric cancer. So I had heard about this brand for a while. I didn't own any of their beanies, but I thought that it was just an amazing company. I loved what they were doing. I had someone from Love Your Melon reach out to me and ask if I wanted to be a brand ambassador, which basically means they send me a beanie and I post pictures of myself wearing it to help spread the message of their company. And I was like, ab so freaking lootly. Like I was love to do that because again they just do amazing amazing things for kids so I get to open up and see what my beanie has looked like this has been almost as hard as the squadsmas gift to like not open because this came probably about two weeks ago and I've like wanted to open it but I wanted to save it for this video so I could show it to you guys like as I was opening it and that way it just gets more exposure okay I didn't know what color they were gonna send me but I love mine so this is the one that I got I don't know how to describe it but it's like a cream color and black so so pretty oh my goodness okay I'm gonna try it on for you guys I think it's gonna mess up my hair but it's okay it is totally worth it so as you guys could see the hats like really really big so I just like folded mine in like this but it fits perfectly super super comfortable super warm so like I will probably wear this when I'm out of my runs if we're being completely honest because it's been freezing lately but I just think that these are absolutely gorgeous and I love the fact that that it's helping kids so again the company is love your melon I will link them for you guys down in the description box make sure you guys go and follow them on Instagram I love seeing their posts because it just makes my day like that much better and make sure you guys check out their beanies purchase one because you know that you are gonna be able to help kids fight cancer okay I am gonna take it off only because it is really really warm and like it's already kind of warm in my townhouse and I don't want to start sweating so I am gonna remove the hat but you guys will definitely see me posting about it pretty frequently on my Instagram because 
because it really just is an amazing company and I love supporting companies who I know are doing good and I love supporting companies that just have an amazing business model. Okay, the next one I'm gonna share with you guys. I was cracking up so hard. So first of all, the post office like totally knows about my channel now because I was going and frequently picking up packages and like every time they're like, what are you doing? Like, are you ordering stuff online? So I finally sat down and explained to them that I run a YouTube channel and all that. So they know like very much what I do and it's just funny because they always hand me packages and they always comment on it like all of the sloths that are on this box over here. I don't know if you guys can see it, but this one cracked me up. So this is from Sarah and the guy <laughs> handed it to me and he goes, well, this was an envelope, but I think there's some kind of like snap bracelet inside and it like opened up. So it like completely messed up the envelope. That is so, so funny. So I don't think it's a snap bracelet. I think it's something like for your hair, but I'm gonna open it up all the way to show you guys. I'm not gonna read all of these out loud because that takes like forever and then the video is super, super long. So I'm just gonna read it to myself and then I'll talk to you guys after. All right, so this is like a bun maker for your hair. She got it on Amazon, so I will try to find it and like link it for you guys if you are interested too. I'm pretty sure I had one of these as a kid or like I wanted one or something, but it's almost like a snap bracelet and you're able to use it to put your hair into like different buns and things. Um, and then they have like some directions on the back and I'm sure there are like YouTube tutorials as well. But I'm actually really excited to try this because she mentioned in her letter that like me, she likes to put her hair up like when she gets to work because it gets super annoying and I am with you like I love to do my hair but then I'm like I don't want to deal with it so I just put it back into a ponytail and that looks okay but you can always make it look a little bit fancier so I'm really excited actually to try this and see how it works out so thank you Sarah you are so so sweet and yes I loved Stranger Things. All right now I'm gonna just start going through packages I think I'm gonna start like over here and then work my way that way so I will start with this one, which looks like it is from International. Where is this from? Okay, this is from England. Oh, duh, Michelle. Oh my goodness. Okay, so I was just looking at this side and then I flipped it over. Yeah, it's from England. Oh, hashtag winter break problems. So this is from Claire. I feel like I should speak with a British accent. I won't do that to you guys. <laughs> no, no, no. Okay, there's a card. Super cute. So I'm gonna start by opening this. Wow. Wow. I love when people write a lot. <laughs> so I put, hey Michelle, plus Billy, plus Luna. <laughs> Super, super sweet. I love how in England you guys say marking instead of grading. And I definitely read this whole thing in a British accent in my head. But you sound like you're gonna have a great winter break. And yes, I am relaxing every little bit that I can. Okay, I'm gonna start with this. There is bubble wrap, which means it's probably breakable. I love this washi tape. I don't know if they're, they look like peas to me. I know they're probably not peas, but they look like peas with like eyes and crowns. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Okay, I need to open this. Come on, come on. Oh my goodness, this is so cute. Billy's gonna freak out because he loves England like almost as much as I do. <laughs> I've been one time and I really, really, really want to go back. This is adorable. Look, it is a telephone booth ornament from England. So adorable. And there's snow on it and everything. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Oh my goodness, that's only like one part. This is amazing. And this one is super cute. I love it. Oh, I just love things from England. Like it's, it's a sickness you guys it really is okay there's one more in here oh it's big ben okay this part like came off so i will have to hot glue that but look it's big ben even though it's looking kind of small here but still <laughs> i'm gonna insert for you guys a picture that i took like in front of big ben or with big ben in the background super attractive i know oh my goodness these are amazing thank you so so much <sighs> I see candy. Oh my goodness. Okay. So these are <laughs> biscuits or as we call them cookies and they're like half covered with chocolate and these are by Cadbury. Super cute. And then there's all of these like little chocolates. Yay. <laughs> I probably shouldn't be eating this, but you know what? I have done 45 minute runs like every single day this week. So if I eat a little bit of chocolate, it's not going to hurt anyone. Thank you so, so much, Claire. This is absolutely amazing. I cannot wait till Billy gets home so I can show him the ornaments. This was phenomenal. All. all right, next I'm going to open this, which is from, I don't know, it doesn't say on the outside, someone in Pennsylvania though. There's a card, so I'm gonna open this first. Oh, super adorable. 
Okay, so this is from Paige, super sweet note. Oh, cool, okay. So she's going to the Get Your Teach On conference, which I've wanted to go to really bad, but it's very expensive. Um, but that's in March, and so she wants to see if we can try to meet up. So I will definitely get in contact with her, or maybe see if I can go to the conference myself. I don't know if I can swing it right now, but I really want to. What is this? Oh, I see slots and I see Reese's. <laughs> oh, yes. Okay, these are the sloth paper clips from Target, which I actually have seen, but I was like, oh, and I didn't get them. And then when I went back, they were gone. I was like, no. <laughs> so these are super adorable. I cannot wait to use these. And then she also included, oh my goodness, this is so cute. This sloth, like washi tape. Oh my goodness, so, so cute. This one has like different phrases. Don't hurry, be happy. <laughs> Hang in there, nap so hard. Oh my goodness, these are so, so cute. I'm so excited. And she included oh, Reese's. These are the Reese's with like the pieces, piece, pieces, pieces. <laughs> and Billy actually loves these, so I will probably let him eat them. I may regret that, but I'm gonna let Billy eat these because he loves these, like they're his favorite. And then this will be mine because it's one of the big cups which has like extra, extra peanut butter in it. Paige, you are super, super sweet. Thank you so much. And I will definitely get in contact with you and see if we can find a way to meet up for the conference. Okay, I wanna go with this one next because it's like Christmas paper. I probably should have found a way to do this before Christmas, but because we had to go to school like until December 22nd, I just did not have time. So this is from Juanita from California. Oh my gosh, these are so cute. They are gift bags with a sloth and a Santa hat. That is so adorable. The Santa hat is like the gift tag. Oh my gosh. These are so adorable. I wasn't able to obviously use them this year and I don't even think I want to use them next year. Like I think I want to stuff them with tissue paper and just like display them in my classroom. Would that be weird? I don't think it'd be weird at all. And then she also included this emoji pad and it has like a note on it. So I'm going to read it. Wow, 30 years of teaching, God bless you. Oh, super sweet. Thank you, Anita. You are amazing. These are like the most adorable things I've ever seen. And it's okay that it was late. Like I will totally use them next year or just display them in my classroom. All right, I feel like that was a perfect transition for this box, which is covered in sloth pictures, you guys. Like seriously, can we just, can we just appreciate like all of this, even on the top of it? Like it's so cute. So this is from Nicole. I feel bad opening it. I don't want to like cut through the sloth. <laughs> All right, be strong, Michelle, you can do it. Oh, I have to like rip the sloth, I'm so sorry. We're getting there. <laughs> I'm gonna open the note first. Super cute card, it has like two puppies in the front seat of the truck, oh my goodness. so so sweet so Nicole's handle is crafty blind chick and she ended it with PS puppies driving card because I'm blind and have a guide dog ha my driver get it super super sweet she actually runs her own channel on the topic of difference disability guide and service dogs guide and service dog etiquette that is amazing I'm gonna have to like check this out because she's trying to branch into like education that is phenomenal Ooh, so there are some of these containers which are basically like the sandwich containers that I had I have not seen seen this size before because this is almost identical to it at my Dollar Tree so I'm super excited about these and I actually still have a couple of things that like I need the sandwich containers for but I didn't have enough because I y'all I'm a hot mess I don't even worry about it but I'm really really excited about these so thank you very much and then there is this little notebook which is perfect because I'm always 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 using notebooks for like everything okay and then there's this little bag oh stop it oh Oh, so cute. This is so adorable. Look at the little hat. <laughs> I know Christmas is over. Today is, I'm filming this on the 29th, but I don't care. I leave Christmas stuff up in my house until like February. <laughs> I know some of you guys said you put it away before New Year's. No, I leave it up as long as I can and Billy's okay with it because he doesn't really want to put it away either. So I'm going to go put this downstairs and leave it up for the rest of the winter. All right. And then there is this wrapped gift. Oh, stop it. Oh, no, no. Yes, yes. <laughs> Get out of here. <laughs> Holy Reese's. Do you guys, do you, do you see this? This is two Reese's cups. Holy 
guacamole. You could literally cut this into pieces like a pie and eat it. Billy's gonna kill me. He is so tired of me getting Reese's. <laughs> Probably because I don't ever give him any because they're my favorite. But every time I come home with more Reese's, he's like, really? You got more of them? <laughs> I think it's hilarious. But this... It's a good thing I am now marathon training because I'm going to need to in order to eat that. <laughs> Nicole, thank you. This was so awesome, so sweet, and so kind of you. I'm going to check out your YouTube channel, and if I can find it, I will definitely link it down below so you guys can check it out too. Okay, well, we're like halfway done. Like, this side is clay well almost. Now we will be halfway done. <laughs> so for this one, can we just acknowledge, like, that they put my logo on the address label? So cute. Okay, we have tissue paper. Oh, I see black and gold. AKA the most beautiful sight in the world. Wow. Wow. This is so pretty. So it's a stationary set, all black and gold. It looks like there's eight flat note cards with envelopes, eight folded note cards with envelopes, and eight gift enclosures with envelopes. These are seriously beautiful. And I wish I knew who this was from. There's like no first name on the, the return address label, just like a last name and a first initial. So whoever sent me this, thank you so, so much. This is beautiful. And actually I've been like flying through note cards lately, so I will take all that I can get. All right, next I have this one. And again, there's no first name on the front. Pull tab to open, okay. Oh, nifty. Oh, that did absolutely nothing to open it. I think it was supposed to like break through this part, but it didn't. Huh. I know it's too good to be true. Ooh, okay. I see paper. Oh, and a card. All right, I'm gonna pull this out first and read it. Okay, so this is from Elizabeth and she told me her little bit of a story about how her family is all into like healthcare. And so she kind of assumed that that was the path she was supposed to go down. But recently she had started substitute teaching and realized that she loved teaching. So she's working on that, which I think is incredible. And then she talked a little bit about like some health related stuff. I'm not gonna include that in the vlog, but it is definitely something that I'm going to look into. She will know what that means. Okay, so stop, stop, get out of here. Ah, this is so cool. Y'all. It's a sloth necklace. The day has come. <laughs> I am so excited. <gasps> this is so cool. You guys are gonna see me wear this like all the time. My kids are gonna love it too. Like they love my love of sloths. And so when they see me wearing this necklace when I go back from break, they're gonna be so excited for me. Aw, this is super cute. I love this little container. Where can I find this? It's all in a language I don't know on the back. But this is cute. I love this little container and it's filled with all kinds of like mini erasers, which you can never have enough of as a teacher. All right, and then there are these stickers. It's super, super cute. Again, you can never have enough stickers as a teacher, so I will definitely use those. And then all kinds of fun little sticky notes. Again, never have enough of them as a teacher, so I really, really appreciate this. Super, super sweet of you. Thank you so, so much, and yes, I will get that looked into. <laughs> I kind of want to, like, put this on right now. All right. Have self-control, Michelle. Don't do it now, don't do it now. It's like, who am I kidding? I'm putting it on now. Oh, the moment has come, you guys. All right, so there we go. There's my sloth necklace, I'm so excited. I'm gonna just wait until Billy gets home and I'm gonna see if he notices that I'm wearing a sloth necklace. Probably not, but that's okay. All right, now I'm gonna start working on this side. So I will start here. This is another international package. Where is it from? Canada! Okay, so this is from Deanna in Canada. Oh, the Reese gods are loving me lately. <laughs> My goodness, this is a half pound Reese cup. Can we just, Billy's gonna be so mad at me. <laughs> I feel like I should video, I'm not going to, but I feel like I should videotape myself like eating this. Like how long will it take Michelle to eat a half pound Reese cup? The answer is not very long. <laughs> thank you, Deanna. My waistline does not say thank you, but I do because I'm very much going to enjoy it. All right, I'm gonna open this one next. So, so pretty. I'm gonna cover up the address, but like her writing of my name. Gorgeous. So this is from Jessica in Florida. Okay, so there's this note card. Oh, she has writing on the back. Okay, hold on. Note card on the front says many things. Hold on, I need to sneeze. <laughs> oh, I know, I know exactly who this is. Okay, so Jess, she actually started an Etsy shop recently making like custom tote bags with logos and such. And she posted a picture of mine on Instagram and I remember like commenting on it. Her Instagram handle is at the social speechy. So I'll make sure I like link that for you guys down below. So I'm really excited because I know exactly what this is. Oh, it's amazing. Look at the quality of this. Wow. Wow. Okay. 
So cool. So it is a tote bag with my logo on it. That is so, so sweet. And this will seriously come in handy. My kids, again, will freak out. My kids are obsessed with my logo and like they all watch my videos. And I've told them that I'm coming out with apparel. That is happening soon, my friends. Be on the lookout for more details because I don't have a lot right now. But I am working on having merchandise and my kids are all like obsessed and they're like, I want to buy a t-shirt. So this is like amazing to have my logo on a tote bag. And I will definitely take this to school with me and my kids will freak out but this is really really well done like the quality is so good and just like the crispness of my logo oh my gosh it's so pretty you guys thank you Jess I will tag her down below if you want to check her out I love like supporting small businesses and especially small businesses that do a really good job like people who just start their own Etsy shop I think that it's absolutely amazing so if you want to get a custom tote bag make sure that you check her out okay we are getting through my friends now I do have a bunch of envelopes but I don't necessarily want to open those on camera because I just sit there and read them to myself and it would take forever in a day for me to read them all out loud to you guys plus I don't really think it's right for me to read them all out loud because sometimes people share personal things and I don't want that like included in my videos so if you send me a letter and I don't read it on camera I'm really really sorry and also I've had a lot of people write like show this on your YouTube channel and I don't want it to be about that like I never want someone to to feel like they have to send me something to get me to show him on my channel I don't know I'm so appreciative of everybody who has sent me things I never ever 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 pictured in a million years that I would be in this position and have this happening and I am so incredibly grateful and I don't want anyone to ever think that I am anything less than that I seriously like am just so appreciative you all are just so incredibly amazing and honestly like I feel like I don't deserve all of this and I think that's another thing that I kind of struggle with um I definitely feel like I've gotten way more than I deserve and it's it's hard for me but I'm trying to give back to you guys as much as I can that's one of the reasons I did the 12 days of giveaways on my Instagram pocket full of presents if you didn't win I'm sorry because unfortunately there were only 12 winners but I truly truly hope that the people who did win will be able to use the things that I gave away because that's what I wanted like I wanted to be able to give away as much as possible because you guys have done so much for me and I know I just went on a really long tangent that wasn't the point but I'm actually in the process of putting together a binder and I'm putting every single card every single note everything that I've ever gotten from someone like in a page protector in a binder I will show you guys that like in a vlog when I am finished but I'm definitely going to hold on to everything that anyone has ever given me every note everything so do not think that if you send me something and either I don't get a chance to write back to you or I don't read it on my YouTube channel that I don't appreciate it I do 100% I seriously sit and like read the notes when I'm in bed at night and I just like cry like it's all happy tears but I cry because you guys just make me feel so good about myself and you make me feel like I'm actually making a difference and that's the whole point of this that's why I'm doing it I want to inspire people I want to motivate people and I just want to make a difference in the world so thank you truly to everyone who has ever sent me something I have more stuff to open so I probably should save this to the end but I just want you guys to realize that I truly do appreciate all of this I never expected it I never I never thought that people would send me stuff like this like when I open up my PO box I'm like okay I'll get like maybe a letter every other week and you guys have just blown me away so truly from the bottom of my heart thank you okay so now that I've gotten all my feels out for the day um this next one is from Justin which actually hold on yes okay so there is a letter that goes with this I thought I recognized the name and I remembered seeing it in more than one place so I am gonna open up this letter first because it I think goes with this package so it's a Christmas card I need to hang all these up I know it's after Christmas but I'm gonna hang them all up in my house <laughs> I know who you are. I know who you are. Okay, so this is from Justin, and he actually has a YouTube channel. I have a really long story that goes with this, you guys. So his YouTube channel is Weirdly OCD. I actually stumbled across him a couple of weeks ago, like maybe early December. Billy and I were just like on YouTube, and I typed in my name just to like see what came up, because I was like, I wonder if someone has like mentioned me in a video and I haven't seen it. And I'm scrolling through, and I saw one, and it was about sending a package to me I'm assuming this package right here and I watched the whole video I didn't comment because like I wanted to wait until I got the package and be able to comment then but he actually like filmed himself sending me stuff which was amazing ah I dropped it hold on <laughs> I should not be allowed to have a YouTube channel you guys he filmed himself like mailing me the not mailing it but like putting together the box which was amazing and I actually really enjoyed it like Billy really enjoyed it so I think I already know it's in here and if it is what I think it is I'm really really excited but thank you he took the time to send both a card and an actual package which is amazing and I will link his channel for you guys down below I already know what the oh yeah <laughs> I'm such a nerd okay 
Okay, hold on. Brace yourself, Michelle. So there's already like this note. I'm gonna reread it, but I read it in, well, I didn't read it. I listened to him read it in the video. So I think I already know like what it says, but I'm gonna reread it. Okay, super, super sweet. So Justin's channel is all about like organization and cleaning and just life in general, which I, you guys know all about that life. Um, oh my goodness, wait till you guys see what he sent me. <laughs> Can we just just appreciate for a moment? So these are trolley sloth like gummies. Oh my goodness, you guys. <laughs> this is amazing. And there are one, two, three, four, five. There are five bags because what's better than one but five? <laughs> Thank you so, so much, Justin. This was so sweet and I truly, truly enjoyed watching your video. In the video and in the letter, he talked about how I'm the first YouTuber he's ever sent something to, so I am super honored to be that person. I really, really appreciate this. Billy is going to enjoy them too as we watch movies over the last couple days of break, but this was just awesome of you. And again, I will have his channel linked in the description box if you guys want to check it out. Okay. <laughs> Get my stretch on. All right, so this is from another Michelle. And this is really bad. I always look at people's return addresses and like they have the states abbreviated and I am horrible. I repeat, horrible with state abbreviations. Like I just, I never learned them. So she is from M.O. Is that Missouri? I think maybe. I need to Google it now and I need to know for sure. I have glitter all over my phone. Score one for me, it is Missouri. So maybe I'm not as bad as I thought. Oh, okay. So the card was like in the top part. Okay, so this is really cute. It has cats all over it. Ah, very cool. I love it. I love when people include their email address because that just makes it that much easier for me. Awesome. Okay, there is bubble wrap. Bubble wrap always makes me nervous. Oh, I know what this is. I know what this is. Okay, she sent me a message on Instagram and I told her, yes. I told her that I hadn't checked my um, like PO box or I was holding on to packages to do a mail haul. I totally forgot about this. Yes. So this is a sloth planter that hangs so stinking adorable. Oh my goodness, you guys. I'm gonna take this to my classroom because I actually have a mini like cactus plant that actually is probably, I don't know how it's still alive. Like if we're being honest, I don't do anything to keep it alive. This will be perfect for holding that in my classroom. And again, my kids are going to love it. So thank you so much, Michelle. This is awesome. I'm gonna go find you again on Instagram and try to message you because this is so, so sweet. And I actually saw this at Marshall's and I did buy one that I'm keeping at home. So this is perfect because I will have one to take to my classroom and great minds think alike. All right, so we have four more. This one is really heavy. This is from, oh, I don't wanna say their name wrong. So it's spelled M-A. R-I-E-L-Y. So it looks like Marie with L-Y at the end. Marily? My Merrily. I'm so sorry. I'm probably butchering it. I'm horrible with like pronouncing names. You guys should hear me on the first day of school, like trying to say my kids' names. It's not good. Wow. Wow. There is a bright piece. Oh, this is so cool. So this is like, as soon as I open the box, it's a letter with beautiful cursive handwriting, by the way. Oh my goodness. Wait, I know who this is too. <laughs> okay, so this is, um, her Instagram handle is pencils and magic wands. I will link her for you guys or I'll put like her handle right here on the screen. But I know who she is. I see her all the time, like commenting on stuff and she comments on like other YouTuber stuff and she's just all over the place. Good for you, girlfriend. So this is awesome. Okay, it's pronounced Mary -e Lee. Mary Lee, I think. Maybe. I'm so sorry. so sweet. So first of all, she is coming to the next TBT conference next summer in Nashville. So yes, I will definitely have to find you. Anyone who's going to the conference, please like send me messages and I will find a way to hook up with you and be able to meet you. I promise. And she said that I actually share a birthday with one of her brothers. So this is meant to be like a late birthday present, which is amazing. Okay. So then it has like this gold paper, super pretty. This is so cool. Okay. So this is a bag. And it says Florida. And honestly, I love, sorry about that. My camera battery just randomly died. So I guess that's my sign I need to hurry up. But as I was saying, I love little zipper pouches like this because I use them for everything and anything. I keep them in my school bag. I keep them in my gym bag. I keep them in my nightstand drawer. I just keep them all over the place. And I feel like you can never have enough. And this one is super cute. I will really appreciate this right now while it's winter and it's like 20 degrees outside. I will think of Florida and how you guys are nice and warm. This one is like wrapped up. 
top. I am loving this paper, by the way. Oh, yes, girl. So these are the Papermate Ink Joy, and these are like the all black ones, which I love because I love writing with just like black pens when I take notes and things like that. And I love just the packs of these, but they're really expensive, so I don't buy them very often. So thank you. I really, really appreciate that. Okay, and then there are these, which can be like seals for envelopes. So that will be perfect as I start to write people back. They're little gold hearts. Adorable. Yes, and I need more of these. These are thank you cards. Again, black and white striped with gold. Super, super cute. And it seems like there's a lot in here. Yeah, there's 24 in here, which is amazing. So I will definitely be using those. Yes, and then some gold binder clips. Always, always appreciated. You can never have enough binder clips. Oh, yes. I'm going to replace all of my paper clips with these sloth ones. So she got me two packs of the sloth paper clips, which means I now have three packs, which I think means I can throw away all of my other paper clips and just use these. I'm pretty sure that's what that means. So then this is a notebook again, black and gold, and it has like emojis all over it. I think I may actually use this to track like some of my workouts, even though a lot of it's like in my phone. I like to also like write it down on paper and what I ate that day and my hydration and all that good stuff. So I think I will use this notebook for like my marathon training. So that will come in super handy. Thank you so, so much again. This was super sweet. I'm going to go find you on Instagram, follow you. And again, I will link her down in the description box for you guys as well. Okay, we are down to three. I feel really bad because this one like got wet on the front so I can't see the return address. So I can't see a name and I probably won't be able to send them like a letter back. So I'm sorry, but it's not my fault. It's the post office's fault. Okay, there is more bubble wrap as you guys can see. It always makes me nervous. <sighs> All right, it's some kind of a mug because I can feel a handle. It's a big mug. <laughs> I'm loving like the tissue paper. It went from yellow to orange to red. I appreciate it. Oh, <laughs> so cute. It says soon dot 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 ish. <laughs> that is adorable. And I have started drinking like all of my water from mugs. Like when I'm at home and I just want to drink, I drink it out of a mug instead of a cup. I think because Billy and I don't have a lot of cups, but we have a million and a half mugs. And so I actually use these like all the time. So this is so adorable. And I like that this one's big. Like this one will hold a lot. Oh, it's so cute. Ooh, and then these binder clips, super pretty. I love the black and the white design. And then this like to-do list pad, which again, you can never have enough of these. Like I use them all the time. Okay, so then there is a note, which was at the bottom. I usually read these first, but this one was hidden. Okay, so this is actually from a fifth grader, which is amazing. <laughs> like, I never thought that my channel would reach like actual students. Like my main purpose was to help teachers, but the fact that I now have like kids and students who know that they want to be teachers following me, I think is amazing. So they actually included some questions that they wanted me to answer. So the first one is, how do you know how to pick the right school? And that's definitely something that I've been thinking about a lot lately because I know 100% that I'm at the right school now. I love that these students and and the staff it's all like one big family and that's really important to me honestly it's hard to know until you're actually in the school but I do think that there are certain like vibes that you can get from administration before you start working there personally when I was just driving around and dropping off resumes at any and every school that I came across when I went into my current school like the vice principal actually sat down she talked with me she's like you know where are you coming from like what did you teach before and like she actually sat down and had a conversation with me which I think is amazing and not many administrators would do that to people just dropping off a resume. So I could tell right there that this was going to be the right place. And then when I went in for my interview, which was super spontaneous, at the end of the interview, my administration again was just telling me like, hey, we're like a big family here. We really care about our teachers feeling supportive. And like right there, I was like, yes, I know that I found the right place. Unfortunately, you don't always know ahead of time. Um, my biggest piece of advice would just be that if you can tell that you're not in the right school, if you are in a position to train transfer and go to a different school, do it. Um, looking back, I mean, I loved the school that I started at. I loved the kids. I loved the teachers that I worked with, but I just did not feel as supported there as I do currently. And it makes a huge, huge difference. So you will be able to tell if you're in the right school or not. If you get into a school and you realize it's not the right school for you, your happiness is above everything else. And if you are not happy, you cannot be the best teacher possible. So if you are in a situation and you know you're not at the right school, I suggest leaving if you can 
can transfer to a different school and it's okay to do that. Like I know sometimes we feel like once we're out of school, we have to stay there forever and that's not the case. You have to go where you are gonna be happy. Second question is how do you deal with behavior issues in your classroom? Which if you guys have been following my vlogs for a while, which this person has, they've been following me for a while. You guys know that I had a lot more of that at my old school than I do now. Honestly, my kids now are just amazing. Like they are just the best group of kids like ever. I love them to death. And I don't really have as many behavior issues now as I used to, but the biggest thing is just get to know your students and build relationships with them. Because when you build relationships with them, it makes it that much easier later on if you do have behavior issues, if you know the student, you've built a good relationship with them and you've built a good relationship with their family, it's gonna be that much easier for you to diffuse. So honestly, a lot of dealing with like behavior issues, you have to be proactive rather than reactive. So you have to be able to tell when it's coming and be able to like diminish it before it escalates and gets too bad versus like having it happen and then trying to find a reaction to it. Like honestly, you can prevent a lot of behavior problems by just getting to know your students really well. And question number three, last one is how did you choose the right grade for you? So grade levels are interesting because a lot of times I know personally I was like this, I had my heart set on second grade. I always wanted to be a second grade teacher and I didn't want to teach any other grade. And it just so happened that my first job was teaching second grade. And I was like, this is amazing. And I thought I loved second grade until I switched to fourth grade. And now that I'm in fourth grade, I actually love it more than second grade. And I never ever thought I was going to say that. So I would just say, don't get stuck on like one grade or even a grade like band. Like a lot of people think of, you know, first grade to third grade or third grade to fifth grade. Don't get hard set on any one like grade level because you honestly don't know until you have experienced different grade levels. And I actually student taught in fifth grade and I did love it. And I kind of forgot how much I loved it. And then when I came back to fourth grade, which is similar, I was like, wow, I really, really love this grade. So just be open and try out different grade levels until you decide like which one you really, really love. And then if you can stay in that grade level, great, do it. But I do think it's very beneficial to try out different grade levels if you have the opportunity. So thank you very much. I think the name is pronounced Karis. I'm really sorry if I pronounced it wrong, but this was super, super sweet of you. And I really, really hope that you do get to become a teacher one day. And then there were two, we are down to two packages. I'm really curious about this bottom one because like this is a big box, but I think think this one yes this one is from Australia which I love like international packages I just think it's amazing because I never realized that I would reach teachers in other countries like I just never really thought about it so the fact that I am I think it's amazing so oh, oh my gosh you guys I am the worst so this is a box it's wrapped up super cute with ribbon and there's Santa on it more bubble wrap oh there's stickers these are super cute and then these white and gold binder clips also super adorable. Okay, here's a card. I didn't see this at first. Oh, okay. Hold on. Read the card first, Michelle. I get distracted so easily. It's the season's greetings. It has koala bears on it. Oh, this is so sweet. Okay. So this is from Melinda in Australia. I cannot, I can't do an Australian accent to save my life. I'm not even going to try. Okay, so in the letter, and she actually talked about this. It's funny that I saw it first. Um, she sent me these little containers of Vegemite. So this is one of those things that I've heard about, but I've never actually tried. I don't even know what it actually is. I know it says it has vitamins, but I don't know like what is it actually made out of, but I'm gonna try this. So these are like little packages. She said to spread butter or margarine first and then put this on top and not to put like too much. So I will have Billy try this with me. Maybe I'll put it like on my Instagram stories or something because it's really funny. I cannot wait to try it. Oh, these are really nice. So these are like teacher pencils. So it says like return to the teacher. <laughs> so I love these. I will definitely use these because my kiddos are always stealing my pencils. Okay. And then there are all of these like Cadbury chocolates and they're like furry friends. It's super, super cute. Okay. So these are other Cadbury like treats. So it says that there is a crunchy, which I'm thinking is maybe like a crunch bar. We maybe have something similar. A cherry ripe boost and Turkish delight. So I've never heard of any of these. So I'm excited to try these. I love like trying food from other countries. I think it's really, really cool. And I kind of want Billy to do like a blind taste test video, like where we each put stuff in each other's mouths and we have to try to figure out what it is. I really want to film one of those. And I think holding on to these would be really good because he would never in a million years guess it. You guys probably 
think I'm so mean. It's because I am. So thank you, Melinda. This was so, so sweet. Awesome treat. I love getting stuff from other countries and just getting to like experience it. I've never been to Australia, but I am dying to go. Billy and I will definitely make our way there within the next couple of years, but thank you so, so much for this. Okay, you guys, we are on to this big one, but like it's light. It's not very heavy at all. This is from, I think it says Carrion. I can't tell by the handwriting. Hold on. I will open it up and I will let you guys know. Okay, this is like ginormous, you guys. I will open this up first. Okay, I was right. It is Carrie Ann. Look, how sad is this, you guys? I know that exact font. It's Bromello. This is, I have a problem. <laughs> Okay, this is, I'm really excited. Um, so first of all, Carrie Ann is not a teacher, but her mom was a teacher. So she has a lot of experience of seeing like what her mom went through. And she now has an Etsy shop. Um, she makes door danglers. Love these cards. You probably can't see it because of my lighting. It makes it really hard, but I will link it for you guys down in the description. I'm really excited to open it. Um, but she makes like custom signs and things for teachers. So I'm really, really excited about this. Oh my goodness. This is beautiful. Holy guacamole. I can barely even fit it in here. Do you guys see this? So she like hand painted this. It has my name, Miss Frey, with the accent. Much appreciated. Oh my goodness. You guys, I am in love with this. Like seriously, this is amazing. And what's great about it is it's really lightweight. Normally signs like this are really heavy and so they're hard to like hang. But this is actually really, really light. Like I could hang this with a command hook no problem I just got really excited to go back to school like I know it's still winter break and I'm enjoying every second but this seriously just like rejuvenated my energy to want to go back to school because I want to hang this up oh my goodness first of all you are extremely talented so it looks like this is like vinyl and then she hand painted the rest but that is seriously incredible you guys like I keep looking at it in the viewfinder because it looks so good <gasps> Carrie Ann, girlfriend, God bless you. You are amazing. Thank you so, so much. I will definitely link this if you guys are interested, which if you're a teacher and you're not interested in this, what is wrong with you? Because this is beautiful and I cannot wait to put this in my classroom. So you guys should definitely check her out as well. I will tag her Etsy shop, her Instagram, whatever I can find. I am just blown away by this. Oh my goodness. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Y'all make me feel like I have no talent whatsoever. <laughs> that is it for my mail haul. I do still have some like letters behind me, but but like I said, I'm going to take those into my bedroom tonight and read them before I go to bed because that's my favorite thing to do. And it always puts a smile on my face and it kind of brings tears to my eyes, but they're happy tears, I promise. Again, from the bottom of my heart, I just want to say thank you to everyone who either has sent me something or a card or a letter or even just sent me a message like on Instagram. I don't always get a chance to respond, but I do read them and I just honestly, I don't know where I would be without you guys. You keep me going and I'm the luckiest teacher in the entire world to have such a supportive community of teachers and even non-teachers and kids and students surrounding me as I go on my journey as a teacher. It's just incredible. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoy the mail hauls. I don't do them super, super often, but I do enjoy filming them for you guys and it seems like you guys enjoy watching them. So please give this video a thumbs up. That helps out my channel and it helps this video be able to reach more teachers. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and also hit the little notification bell so that you get notified every time I post a new video. Also make sure you guys check out all of those links down in the description box. And as always, thank you for watching. I love you all so, so much. Don't forget to think positive and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Thank you so much for watching all the way to the end of this video and for supporting my YouTube channel. If you want to check out any of my older videos, you can use the two links right down here. If you want to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any future videos, you can use the link right up here. In the description box, you'll find links from my Teachers Pay Teacher store along with my PO address if you're interested. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next one.